Welcome. Me and my great friend Aaron, a, one of the finest massage therapists in South Florida area, uh, we've been affiliated for many, many years. He's taking care of a multitude of people throughout the country who has come through this area. If you ever need a great therapist, I would highly recommend this fellow. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to, to teach you about uh, chronic knee pain. And I want to give you a simple exercise that uh, you really need to do in most cases, particularly if you have a patella or a tracking problem. When you look at the kneecap, the kneecap supposed to glide in all different directions, up and down, in and out, diagonally, in and out, so eight directions. If that kneecap is, is, is striking the back of the femur area, when you're walking and you're getting a grinding or a clicking or a pain or inflammation or discomfort, this particular exercise, I believe, can really do you a lot of good. It's called the VMO muscle, the vastus medialis oblique muscle, which is along the inside of the quadricep region. And what happens is in most people who develop knee problems, generally a lot of it's affected uh, from the feet, the way we walk, the way from our hips, actually from posterior or anterior pelvic tilt can throw the, the, the biomechanical structure off. Quite common, the back of the kneecap can come off track causing chondromalacia, softening of the kneecap as it becomes inflamed, it heals. Every time it heals, it heals a little differently, but the tracking mechanism becomes thrown off. But strengthening the, the medial oblique uh, uh, muscle, the vastus medialis oblique on the inside of this thigh can make a tremendous difference to naturally allow the body to bring that kneecap into its normal tracking position. The first thing you want to do is keep the knee where it's perfectly straight with the rest of the leg. All the muscles are relaxed. Uh, the leg and the foot is facing upwards. And the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is just contract those quadriceps, contract it tight. And by doing that, relax, the kneecap's going to be pulling upwards. Uh, in a lot of particular uh, situations, if your knee's hurting you and you contract the quads, uh, you'll notice that you may have some pain underneath the kneecap because of the tracking. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to take the foot, the toe, and you're going you're gonna to tilt it. You're going to actually laterally tilt it all the way to the side. And by bringing the toe all the way to the outside like this, okay, we're going to only focus on strengthening and contracting that vastus medialis muscle. Now go ahead and do it again. And by doing that, relax, squeeze it again. And by doing that, we're contracting, relax, that muscle, keep going. So you're gonna contract about two, three seconds, relax for a second, contract two, three seconds, relax for a second, we contract two or three seconds. By keeping that foot laterally outwards, we are actually working the inside of that medial, that vastus medialis muscle. And by strengthening this muscle, you'll do this about eight to 12 times, two to three sets every other day. You'll see within a week or two, within maybe a shorter period of time, you'll start to feel a huge difference, particularly in your gait. And hopefully you'll get a significant amount of reduction of inflammation and the tracking mechanism will start working again, hopefully taking care of your knee pain because you can treat this with drugs, you can do all you want with it, but if you don't treat the biomechanics, the condition is never gonna get corrected. I hope this helps you. I ask you to leave your messages below. I ask you to share this video with your friends, your family. I ask you to subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive the best of self-help videos here on the internet, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.